Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This is one of those days where I have no idea what's in the package. It could literally be anything. Whatever it is, I will link it down in the description so that you guys can check it out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's of course entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what this is. I think there's a hard case in here. Yes. Well, that would have... Oh, no, now I do know. Ho, ho, ho. We're in for a... Well, depends on how you define special. What's contained in this, and it will definitely be linked in the description, it is expensive. Expect to see an expensive item. If you're not familiar with my channel, welcome. I show expensive stuff sometimes. And when I say expensive, I mean, I mean things that can range literally from a couple hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. If you didn't know that that stuff exists in the knife world, welcome to the knife world. Um, this is something that Katsu brought up to me and said, would you be interested in taking a look at this? And it is so weird. If it is the knife I'm thinking of, it is so weird I had to say yes, right? This is going to be to some people's liking. I think the knee-jerk reaction will, of course, be gas station knife. I mean, that's the lazy, you know. Expect that. Um, but it's it was so weird that I had to say yes. And Katsu's track record, by the way, is... It might look weird, but it is well-made. <laughs> that's definitely... The case. All right. So, HV, this is the one that I'm not super familiar. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's right. I forgot. Oh, no, no, no. There's two different things they're sending me. This is the other thing. Oh, that's right. They sent me another one. Why? Why do you ask? Because they were kind enough to offer yet another ultra expensive knife. For a giveaway, which I will gladly do. Yes, this will be yet another really crazy thing that I will be giving away. Now, like the aesthetic of this or not, what I have to appreciate here is that Katsu is, at, and this is, by the way, this is actually Zerkatai. This is Zerkatai, right? So there's your heat tree, and you can convert it. We did last time, and it ended up being great for ZDP, which is what the blade is. Um, but this guy here, once again, God, that is just incredible. So we have a Sanmai ZDP 189 blade that has been DLC polished. This is literally uh, the same deal as the last time. It's the KST, KSZ1, KST1. I, I'm pretty sure it's, it's something of that nature, right? One of them is the... Uh, standard Timascus, or what we would call white Timascus, which is just multi-composition layered titanium Damascus. And then the other one, and I don't think there's a difference in price, is this guy here. And it is zirconium mixed in with titanium Damascus. Furthermore, this front scale is solid zirconium. Uh, mix that with the fact that we have a Sanmai true DLC coated ZDP 189 blade, the value is kind of insane. Say what you will about the aesthetic, right? And this knife is made in China, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I factually don't know of another knife on the market, Chinese or not, that is combining all of these materials in a quality way and charging what they're charging for this knife. It is expensive, but I'm, I, I don't think I don't think it has any real competition, right? If we're just going to reduce the the value to uh, the quality and value of materials and the quality of execution, which is very good. They did not just slap these things together. Man, I really want to keep one of these for myself. Uh, the pocket clip is also zirconium. I wish they didn't put this right on the pocket clip, but you know what? Okay. Back side of the knife, titanium, not a whole lot special going on here. Surprisingly good ergonomics. Surprisingly good ergonomics outside of that pocket clip. Uh, that pocket clip is too big, and I don't like pocket clips that ride along the spine of the frame. That's a little bit of a bugaboo for me. But 
disengagement, good access, very good pivot action. Uh, one of the easiest to actuate front flippers, you really, I remember this, you gotta keep your index finger out of this zone because this guy will come around and will pinch you, definitely. So you keep your fingers back from where that closes, which is right there where that angle changes and you're good to go. But because of the prominence of this unicorn horn, uh, it's actually, and I think specifically this angle right here, it actually makes it very, very easy to manipulate. Uh, given this, is it the Vickers scale? Pretty sure a 902 will probably come in somewhere around 66 and a half, maybe. You guys can, uh, you can check that if you want. But that's a good heat tree. That's in the, uh, the optimal zone for ZDP. That's very hard, right? But ZDP 189, the thing that makes it special is that it can take an incredibly uh, hard or high Rockwell hardness um, and maintain a lot of really desirable qualities. In this case, it's clad. We have to assume additional, intentional additional corrosion resistance. On top of that, it's DLC coated, which again is offering even more corrosion resistance. ZDP-189 is a weird composition. And when I say that, I mean, it's hard to determine exactly whether or not, I mean, you'll ask a million people, get a million answers, right? There'll be some pros down in the comment section will, that'll tell us exactly. But ZDP-189 at first glance seems like it might be a stainless composition. Then you look at the carbon content and the other, the rest of it, and you go, Ugh, is it? I don't know. Well, I mean, the nice thing here is, again, we have the cladding and the coating, adding those properties back in. Add to the fact that for the type of composition that it is and the design, you know, like the, the, the cake mix, right? Uh, I believe it's hard. I get so much knife composition information in my head. And still, I would still consider myself an amateur in the field. I don't know. I'm not a professional at all. Just to read a lot and handle a lot of pocket knives, right? So as much as anybody else, right? As much as the common redditor. Uh, sorry, there's gonna be a kick in the. It's gonna be a kick in the beanbag to a lot of people. But come on, guys. That's just all, that's all we are. It's a bunch of amateurs, right? Not all of us, but if you're like me, you're an amateur. Um, uh, I believe ZDP 189 is tougher than M390, while maintaining the ability to uh, have excellent edge retention, almost exactly the same level of edge retention. In some cases, I think people might argue better, right? We're all right there in the vicinity of something accurate. All Everything that I just said is somewhere in there is a little bit of accuracy. Uh, it's hard to remember that on the fly. But uh, you might be wondering, is that a button? Is it also a button lock? No, it's literally just a rectangle of Timascus. Or tight, I'm sorry, Zerkatai, which again, I'm not really sure why they did that, but this is really good looking Zerkatai, big thick chunks of zirconium mixed in there. Really, really nice knife. And I will absolutely be giving this away. When? I don't know. It might be a standalone giveaway. It might be part of my half million subscriber giveaway. I'm not really sure. I want to talk to them and see what they want to do. Um, but I think it's really cool that they want to send me this stuff to do a giveaway. In the meantime, if you want to check this knife out for yourself or the other products that they offer, which are pretty cool, check out uh, Katsu Knives. I may have said Kunwu at some point. Katsu Knives down in the description. I'll link their whole website, this product, other products. You can check them out. Pretty cool stuff. They kind of came out of nowhere, but uh, they're making really nice knives. I have reviewed this knife. If you want to see my full comprehensive review, you can look this up. Uh, the name of it, like I said, will be in the description. Um, but by searching Metal Complex in the name of this knife, you'll be able to find my review on YouTube. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.